It is 8.56 in the morning and they are uh, now unloading me, which is good. Um, I think I witnessed a new species of human. Um, I don't know what they do, um, but they walk at two miles an hour and still get paid. That's a, a new scientific discovery, I think. I don't know how well it comes through on the camera, but in my mirror, oh, they, they, what makes it harder to see is they close the door on the other end so you can see the crack of light underneath it. This is a pull-through building, and they told me to pull through into this last bay, but this truck next to me was in the way, so I pulled behind it in bay four, and uh, now the door's open. And pull, you can see this, if I can stop shaking, I pulled the, the tarps and I got in here, they said, okay, pull it, go to the last door, turn left, fifth bay. Uh, and then when I, as soon as I got parked, they're like, okay, untarp as fast as you can. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I didn't have time to put up the camera. Um, but you can kind of see the gaps in between the steel there. And uh, once they're done, I will uh, put my lumber away, send in my empty call, and see what we get next. I'm in uh, Roseboro, North Carolina. I'm hoping they send me west. They're having uh, truck issues next door. They're, uh, he's trying to get his truck started and they're squirting something into the intake. But I don't, sounds like a fuel issue if they're not getting fuel. Um, I don't know if he'll make it out, but he delivered his load. That's what matters. <laughs> Deliver that load and then you're covered. Alrighty, I'm at uh, where I'm picking up my particle board, or what they may call flake board. I've been here one other time, and this is where I got one of my one of my favorite lumber tarp jobs completed. As far as how I felt about how aesthetically pleasing it looked on the outside, and it was thanks to uh, those things over there. It's their tarping area. It allows you to hook up a harness. <laughs> It's really sexy and uh, get on top of your load safely to roll out your lumber tarps um, of course with any lumber tarp job it takes longer because the tarps are bigger and uh, so you can s uh, they're doing some construction over here they've been doing they were doing construction on a cement pad in front of that uh, what you see is a black curtain well, they're done with the concrete now, but it looks like they're doing some construction inside. And what I think they're doing is expanding their shipping facilities so they can accommodate more trucks to load more and get more done. Let's see. Uh, I'm here a little bit early. It is 12.43. I'm not scheduled to pick up until 3 o'clock. So it's almost 1. So I got uh, a couple hours. I... They may take me early, I don't know. I um, signed in, um, and and what they do is they have you turn to uh, channel three, and, and they take all your information, you write it down on a piece of paper, and they call you when they're ready for you. Uh, there's a bunch of trucks here already lined up, but um, uh, several of these are not uh, unloading at this particular area. They're... They're waiting to be called in. I, I tend to park like a, a bunch of other trucks back here on the side and wait for to be called. I don't crowd the entry point. Though if I need to, I can get around on that the right side and also on the left side there's a uh, passageway. So I'm not sure exactly why these uh, 12 or so trucks, because there's like three rows, four wide, well, I guess it's less than 12, but, you know, you get the idea. Uh, I'm not sure if they like to, they feel like the closer they are, the sooner they'll get called in. Because they do it, there's somebody in an office not looking at us, calling numbers as you checked in, and, and based on your appointment time. So, getting um, stuck in the middle of a small parking lot there, I wouldn't want to do that. 
So I will finish. It's time to watch a little bit more of Captain America. I got to make sure he's uh, learned his. You know, I taught him everything he knows. So, and uh, but that's it. Once I get loaded, I'm hope I'm gonna. I've charged up my uh, other camera, and I hope to be able to capture me going through that tarping process over there, so you can see how that's done. Typically what they do is they, in the covered area, they load us, we put uh, straps over the product, we put plastic over it, and in, in which they have a uh, harness and f uh, fall arrest system, which is the line that connects to your harness and a cable up to the ceiling, so if you fall off it catches you so you don't fall and hit the ground. Anyway, you, you strap tighten it all down and throw on your plastic and I may throw on plastic and then throw straps so the the straps hold the plastic in place while I'm moving to the tarping area which is right there so and if it is full they might allow me to tarp just underneath the shed so we'll see what happens cross your fingers Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.